What is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Ark Survival Ascended. Now here we are in the character creator and I've seen quite a bit of this so far. It, uh, it's definitely something. It's, it's definitely something. So let's set our skin tone. Yeah, um, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to be that, that bright. Let's go overall height. Boom, big boy. Body composition. Ooh. I feel like we're kind of like... Probs about that, I would say. Yeah, that looks yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, body composition, voice. What are the voices? Oh, that sounds manly. That sounds manly. That sounds very manly. Eye size. Got to give ourselves big eyes. I I can't see anything, so the bigger the eyes, the better. I feel like eye width can stay the same. I don't want to look like too much of a freak. That'll 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 do, I guess. How do I get it? Get give me out. Get, okay, yeah, I've selected the eye color. Do I? No, that's the wrong way. Bruh. Oh, there we go. What what fancy color do we want for the outside? Ooh, ooh, red looks cool. Let's go that. All right, cool. Hairstyle. Let's take a look at the hairstyles. I haven't actually seen the hairstyles all that much. I look like a gorgeous, gorgeous Hemsworth brother. All right, let's uh, hairstyle. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like this one is my favorite. Can we change the length? We can. Short, medium. Uh, we're going to leave it at medium, I think. And hair color. Oh, we don't have like fluoro greens anymore. I wonder if you can dye your hair color. Hair tips. Oh, we can get frosted tips. Let's go. Yeah, we're just going to leave it. I don't want frosted tips that much. Eyebrow style, facial hair. Nope. Okay, hold on. Let me try it. Can I figure out the controls, please? I feel like, yeah, you know what? That's that's some solid facial hair. Size. Head size. I'm going to leave all that. Head height, muscle, face fat. Face fat? Yo, can we just be like a super muscly dude with a massive ass fat face? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna turn that down. Okay, torso. Chest size, height, torso size. We're just gonna eat Ooh, that is not the height I was expecting. Let's just chuck that there. Here we go. This is the one we want. Torso height. There we go. That's better. We're gonna be the giantest giant you ever damn seen. Muscle, belly fat, chest fat, chest fat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that, that really gets me going. That gets my juices flowing. What does the back fat look like? Yo, <laughs> back fat is whole body fat. Look at that. <laughs> the poor dude having to lug around an entire body like that. All right, arms. Hand size, upper arm size. No, we don't need big chunky muscles. Arm length. This is the one we like extending. There we go. Triceps. I don't really care. What does arm fat look like? Oh, that's healthy. That's healthy. All right. Uh, and legs. Finally, foot size. Going to give ourselves giant rubber ducky feet. Upper leg size. We don't need bigger muscles there. Leg length. Let's extendo those out. Look at that. We're going to give the Brontos a goddamn run for their money. Butt fat. Oh, here we go. Yo, our boy is thick. Look at those buns of steel. Oh, how can you go wrong with that? I, I'm sorry. I have to. We have to. We're going to save it. Ya yeah, boy. Thickness. Ya yeah, boy thick. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright. Let's get in here. Here we go. First gameplay of Ark Survival Ascended. Let's get into it. Boom. Ooh. Where do we want to start? I don't know if... I feel like I should have wiped the map before I did. I think I did. But we'll, we'll find out. We're going to spawn Are down here. the one I've been waiting for? And we're going to listen to Helena. You might be. Talk away and talk my I ear off. I hope so since I was her. Do I even still remember hope? I wasn't sure you'd I'm already sick of it, to be honest. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. Or well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. It's 
explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, survivor. You may be the only one. Coming to save you, Elena. Don't stress. I'm coming. Here we go. All right, running so far, pretty smooth. Give ourselves a little bit of a rub down. That was actually super smooth uh, opening coming into it. Not gonna lie. Okay, first things first, we're gonna just disable our bloom quality because it is very bright. There we go, I can actually see what's going on. Uh, our dude's so big, his fucking head doesn't fit in the bloody screen. So these are our settings. I might as well show you guys real quick. Uh, videos all the way, audio's all the way down. So we're, yeah, playing in 2K. Uh, let's make that windowed full screen. Uh, we've got advanced graphics. I feel like I could probably push that to high. Let's, let's chuck that high. Uh, view distance, medium textures, post processing, shadows, illumination effects, quality, foliage quality. Yeah, we've got motion blur off, light bloom, the yada yada, and then RTX, uh, we've got that. Apparently, if you turn this off, it actually um, helps massively with your FPS. So if you're having troubles trying to play, try and turn that off and see what it does. Uh, as for this, we're going to go performance. I'm going to change it, and we're going to save that. UI, oop, don't crash. Camera, all right, cool. There we go. So... I'm not sure how I feel about the camera switching, although I do look like a big chunky boy. Look at those. Yo, how, like, massive am I? I'm a... Look at those buns. Oh. And these new shorts? They're fancy. All right. So let's take a look at the map here. I'm assuming how it says player is possibly my other character. I'm not entirely sure. We've got a PT over here. Getting some stone. Let's go take a look at the PT. Ooh, that water, though, is juicy. We've got little bubbles coming off us. I am a big fan of the water physics. I think the water physics are really cool. Okay. Let's take a look at this PT. Hey, ugly. They could have made the text a little bit easier to read. That's a little bit difficult. All right, let's come over here. We're going to grab some berries. So you can actually see the foliage get depleted as you grab the berries, which I think is really cool. And obviously that's a, an Unreal Engine 5 asset thing, I think, going on. I do like how you can see the foliage slowly disappear. That's really cool. Okay, let's punch this tree down. Oh, we're getting, we're getting blood in our face. Our punch marks are all the way up the tree. Yo, that blood. <laughs> I'm going freaking blind. Okay, so what happens to the tree once it gets f knocked down? I can't believe we just punched a tree down with our bare fists. Does it just stay there? Can we punch it some more? I wonder how long it takes before it despawns. There we go. Now it's gone. I love how you can't see my dude. All right. Uh, we, we can level up movement speed. We turned it on in the AI. In the UI, sorry. All right. And we've got some engram points. Let's grab ourselves some spears. The basic stuff. Got thatch foundations. Sleeping bag looks different. And all of this. If you guys haven't seen uh, my structure comparison video, check that out. I've also got the dinosaur comparison video. So if you want to see what the ASE dinos look against the ASA dinos, check that out. And the, uh, the structures as well. I compare the two and how they all look and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead. Let's make one of those. We're going to make one of those. One of those. Ooh, verd berry bush. Can be planted in small, medium, or large crop plots. So we've got some new berries. This one doesn't say you can plant it though. Only some of them say you could plant it. Eat it to gain a tiny amount of nourishment. Oh, they're seeds. Vertiberry. Do we have a vertiberry? Yeah, okay, so that's that one. So that's the seed for it. Okay, so we've also got new seeds, which is cool. The armor looks really funky. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Oh, this is also new. That's cool. All right, that's a nice little uh, feature as well. All right, let's chop down this tree. This is a big tree. Oh, listen to that. That crisp wood smacking sound. 
It sounds like each one does slightly differ. It does look very nice. Uh, I'll, I'll give it that, although it just has... I feel like it's got a slight, like, cartoonish feel to it, and I'm not sure why that is. Ooh. Look at that. The rocks, like, break in front of you. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's got me excited. Alright, let's come into here. Let's go boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And let's see how we go. So we got thatch, we got the slingshot. I think we just got narcotics. Yeah, there we go. Mortar and pestle. There's the mortar and pestle. Yeah, so it's got a different design for the mortar and pestle. Like I said, check out my uh, structure comparison video. It'll show you pretty much majority, if not all, of the structures, I believe. Get that bad boy down here. Get that bad boy. So what do these guys look like? So very similar. Also very similar. What's most shops up here fighting? You good, fam? You got a dillo on your ass? Yo, I can't see in this grass, though. Luckily, I'm so tall. What is he running from? Oh, he just consumed something. You good, fam? What do you want to eat? Ooh, that is very difficult to read. He has a friend around here, though. He's mate boosted. Or she. I don't see what the gender was. Okay, what do you want? Raw prime fish meat. I ain't got none of that. Don't know how I feel about the UI along the right hand side of the screen. I kind of like the old ones, but at the same time, this is pretty cool. What was that? Was that a hyena dog? I am kind of keen to see the baby dinos running around too. I want to see what they look like. I, I'm just not sure if it's due to the fact that I'm just not used to this new UI. Or if it's just kind of bad? I don't know. I don't like the text popping up at the top. I don't think it looks that great. Although the light coming through the trees and everything looks pretty damn cool. And I do like how the foliage moves around you. It really sells the immersion. Look at this. That's nice. Is this a metal node? No, that's just a normal rock. Check that out though. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. Right, we need to find something to kill. We want some hide. Oof. I do, even with like light quality, light bloom off. Is that whatever, whatever R dot light thingy that I turned off at the beginning? There's still heaps of light coming through and it looks really nice. The model's a bit, I don't know. I, I think it's just going to take some getting used to. I think that's the biggest thing. The map itself is pretty damn pretty. You're only a level 5 PT. Can I kill you? Oh, <laughs> dude's gonna feel that for the next century. His bloody ancestors are gonna feel that. That was brutal. I kind of feel bad for the poor PT. <laughs> we got some levels from that. I'm gonna chuck up some weight. What did we unlock? Spyglass? Single bed? All right, let's keep going here. I have no idea where we are headed to, by the way. I know we could probably do a note run, but I'm just kind of enjoying exploring the new map. I have flown around a little bit just to some certain locations to do some of those previous videos to match them up where I did it on uh, ASE. Oh, this is, this is pretty nice. It just, it feels, I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to it, but it just feels like it has this slight cartoonish quality and I don't know why. Okay. We've got a trike over here. We also have a baby trike. So, how do we go about becoming friends with baby trike? Let's chuck the berries in the last slot here. There it is there. Look at this little cutie. Hey, mate. Female baby triceratops level 22. So, how do I become friends with you? Obviously, I don't want to punch the baby because I feel like mama is going to get angry at me. Level 20. What does that little heart above it mean? Where's the baby at? I'm gonna just try and drop some berries here. Did that get you excited? No interest whatsoever in my berry bag. Doesn't wanna... I'm gonna punch it. Oh shit! Mom is after me. Run! No? She kill? She chill? 
We've got battle music playing. She is definitely be lining it for me. Is K camera still the same? Yep. I'm just focused on my buns. Oh yeah, she's after me. Uh, I can't see where I'm running. I just wanted to befriend your baby. I'm not sure how to do it. Oh, look at the clouds up there. So how do you how do you become friends with the babies? At least the uh, water actually looks slightly better as well. Wait, where's your baby at? So she's now separated from the baby that she had. Here is the baby. Can I be friends with you? Uh, let's try a different berry. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Different berries? Maybe? No interest, huh. Obviously, I, like, I don't think we knock it out. Surely not. I'm just not sure. Shit, mum is after me again. I was trying to kill it. I'm just not entirely sure how we become friends with them. How we go about taming the babies. Let's just try and turn that off. How does that look? I mean, that looks a little, uh, nicer. Let me also turn the gamma down. I do like how you get the... Oh, that turned it up. I do like how you get all the, like... Stuff there when you go into the admin bar or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, here we go. I actually think the dodos are one of the better looking dinos. I think these guys have had the biggest glow up out of all of the dinos, in my humble opinion. I do like their death animations. Also, when you swing to harvest, it feels much solider. Like you're actually like hitting something solid, if that makes sense. Sorry, Listro. Whoa, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. And I think it's just got to do with the animation, to be honest. So, how do I tame these little dudes? Surely we'd have to, like, feed them or something, right? Wait, what is that? Is that just the crosshair we get? Looks like it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I would have figured we could have just like... Because I, I feel like I've... I actually don't even know. I feel like you'd be able to like imprint on it sort of thing, but... You might have to take it away from its mum or something. I'm not entirely sure. So our conditions is also running on this. So what I want to try and do by the end of the day, by the end of this episode, sorry, is hopefully find like a Danosuchus or something along the sorts. Just to take a look at them as well. I'm just going to eat some of these berries. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we go about taming the babies. What do we got up here? Try blog. Tracking list? Baby creatures? Yo, hold on. Can you search for dinos? Or is this just ones that you've technically befriended? Obtaining updated info? Please wait. Is this like a scanner for the area? No, I don't think so. Let's try this again. Huh, vehicles. What vehicles would there be? Um, we've got Explorer Notes, and then the map itself. Okay, cool. Let's keep going here. See what we can find. It is very nice to look at. It just... It, some, it, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's not like it, it's washed out. It's I don't know if it's the abundance of the light, the shadows. It just kind of feels desaturated. I, I don't know. 
Once again, it could also be just the fact that I'm not used to it because we've been playing um, ASE for so long sort of thing. That's also a very likely possibility. So we'll just have to see and hopefully it picks up a little bit and I get a bit more used to it as we go along. I want to figure out how we get these bloody babies, to be honest. Oh, here we go. We got a parasaur. Level 5? Can we make a bowler? Standing torch. We just leveled up to make the bowler. Okay. Where is the slingshot? We're going to make ourselves a slingshot. We're going to make ourselves a bowler. And hopefully we've got enough stone. Yeah, we should have heaps of stone. Alright, let's put that bad boy down here. And let's go ahead and try and knock out this level 5 parasaur. Except I've lost it in the thick... This feels like you're in a jungle, which is good. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a little green tick saying that we can bowl this. That's actually pretty cool. That's a nice little addition. Alright. Oh, that needs some work. Mega Neuro, go away, mate. I ain't got time for you. There we go. Parasaur's knocked out. Let's kill the dragonfly. Glad to see that this hasn't changed. Oh! Oh! He had a baby. Ouch. Okay, so now what happens to the baby? Do we have to... Um, now can we claim it? Let me take care of these Meganeras first. Bruh. Can't see the damn bastards. So I want to see, can we walk up to the baby and claim it now? Nope. Okay, I think we killed both of them. Okay. Parasaur's tamed up. Let's go. Baby's just walked off. So how do we... Oh, now we can imprint on it? So is it just because we tamed the parent up? So maybe if we if the parent dies, the baby will become claimable. If that's the case, because I'm not entirely sure to be honest. I'm gonna give it some food. This guy tamed up alright. Show buffs. Okay. This is uh this this blue stuff is gonna take getting used to the blue UI. I'm not I'm not a fan of the, the colouring. I do miss our old UI. Ooh. Oh that's just a C. Okay, so the adolescence it's grown pretty quickly. Have some more berries, mate. I don't think I can make a parasol saddle just yet. What do we got? We got a bow now? Oh, we can make the parasol saddle. So, okay. What does hold R to dismiss? Okay, so we go sh access inventory, alert settings, autify groups, behavior. Follow, wander, mating, turret mode, alley look, looking, ignore group whistles, target conscious, range, attack. Okay, what else have we got? Options. Nuda, export. We've got a dillo attack. That's what we bloody got. Guys, come and help me. 
The levels actually don't help. You're going to die. There we go. We got it. Don't stress. Thanks for the help, Bill. Appreciate it. Where did the baby go? I have no idea where the baby's run off to. It is now going to have to fend for itself. Okay, so hold to show less. Hold to show more. Okay. That sounded like another dillo. Tracking info? Toggle tracking? Toggle POI. What does toggle POI mean? So does that mean we can track the dino now? Wherever we are? Huh. That's kind of cool. Select to favorite. Select to add POI. And then, yeah, okay, it also comes up on the map. Which is actually a pretty cool little feature, I reckon. Does battle music? Is the baby under attack? I gotta say the baby's under attack. I do miss the floating damage. Yeah, baby's under attack. I can't see anything in this damn foliage. Oh, I'm gonna kill the baby. Well, I'm gonna die. And kill the baby. There goes the baby. Am I next? That's the age old question. I did. Did I kill one? I mean, we still have Bill. His offspring is just dead. Don't tell Bill. No, nope, Bill's under attack. Bill, you could at least attack back, mate. Scare him off. Never mind. Bill is now dead. Well, how the tables have turned, and this is typical hard luck. I mean, to be fair, they were only level 5 parasol. Whoa, that's a tickle chicken. Hello, gorgeous. The fur textures actually look pretty cool too. The new updated versions of them, I reckon. We're going to steer clear of that tickle chicken though. I want to try and find a suka, uh, Dano Sucus. So I think the swamp is down this way. We're going to do that, do that. We've got a few levels. What do we got? As far as I could tell as well, there's no new engrams. Like we do have new building structures. Like the pillars you can rotate into beams. But I don't think there's been any new structures as far as I've been able to tell. Or look, like find or anything like that. Alright, let's keep going. I think this is the way to the swamp. It all seems so unfamiliar because there's just so much new stuff. Like it just looks so different. Alright, here we go. Here's the swamp. I'm hoping I can find a, a Dano Sucus. I'm not entirely sure where they even spawn on the island, to be honest. What is going on over here? Is that a Titan of Boa? Yes, that is a Titan of Boa. We're stuck in a rock. Let's just ignore that and run away from it. I haven't leveled up any points in movement speed, have I? Oh, we did one at the beginning. The trucks look pretty cool. I'm stuck in the mangroves. Okay, let's come into here for a second because I know we've got the cosmetics, but I don't know how you get the dyes. Huh. That's cool, we'll figure that out later. I do like the trailing water. Ooh, baryonyx. Just gonna ignore you, big guy. Oh god, that's terrifying. Let's just run away from him. I hear snails. I hear very loud, scary noises. And there is scary battle music playing. I'm trying to... I thought that was a Dano Sucus. I do like the jumping. It kind of... It reminds me a lot of, like, Conan for some reason. And I'm not sure why. Oh, baby Fiomia! It's level 100. Oh, hello, big fella. Oh, God, that's terrifying. I do think the Sarkos look really cool, too. And the Capros. The Capros look amazing, I reckon. Like, the Capros look really clean. Alright, we got some more Sarkos down here. No Dano Sucuses. They are a bit rarer. In terms of spawn, I would imagine. I am not going to risk this, because that is going to be a bad time for me. I'm going to grab some berries while we wait here. 
Like, I genuinely have no idea where I am on the island at the moment, aside from, like, being in the swamp. Just because of how new everything is. Like, I, if I looked at my map, I'd be like, yeah, I kind of know where I am, roughly. Like, that's the inlet just straight ahead from me. But, like, looking around, like, in terms of normal land points and stuff like that, like you would normally use for the, like, for ASE, like, you just cannot tell. At this stage, anyway, because everything is just so different. Oh, here's a cap rope. I reckon they look so cool. He's going to chomp me down. I'm surprised I haven't actually died yet, to be honest. I say that, and I'm about to get chomped on. Oh, there's a baryonyx and a cap rope behind me. Yep, here it goes. It's a level 20 cap rope. I think I'm dead here. I tried. I really did. I really tried. Okay, let's try and spawn. Let's go up here. You know what? I want to take a look at the hidden valley. And the hidden valley, hidden oasis, is that what it's called? Whatever it's called. Look at how thingy the beach is. I really like the dodos. I think the dodos look really nice. Okay. I think... Oh, God, that's far away. I think if we go over this way... We should eventually come upon the Hidden Valley. Eventually. Hidden Valley. I think it's... I don't know. <laughs> Like, there's just so much vegetation. I have no idea where I am. It's a bit harder to read the unconscious thing as well. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, I think we're just on the other side. Oh, here it is. Oh, this looks nice. Do I just jump down here, you reckon? Oh, I don't have a choice. Well, that went smoothly for me, didn't it? Look at these baby trikes. They're so cute. I think we have to kill the parent or tame the parent for the babies to become tameable. I think that's how it works. Don't quote me on that yet. I would obviously need to do a bit of testing to determine that. But I think we're coming up in the Hidden Valley now. We should see the pond in front of us. Yes. This looks so different. I heard a seagull. I'm going crazy. That is a very cool looking parasaur over there in the distance. I'm going to walk over there. Let's take a look. We've got some Hesperonuses here. Oh shit, piranhas. Piranhas. Oh god, they're as deadly as ever. Let's come over here and check out this parasaur. The colors on the dinos have also changed really drastically. Oh, the beavers. Is there something after me? There's so many noises and I'm scared because I don't know if it's friend or foe. Yo, look at the colors on this parasaur. That's gnarly. I should really get some defensive items because I just spotted three dillos just over there. Can I get some stone? Yeah, there we go. Okay, looks like we're not going to get that Dillo. Uh, Parasaur. Dillo's had other plants. I haven't actually seen what it looks like when we... Sp oh, scared the shit out of me. That's cool. We also get like a weird sound effect. Oh, okay. Run. Run away. Just run away. I'm hearing lots of scary noises and I don't know what it is. <laughs> and it's scary. Are these trees? No, they would be collectibles. We've got a stego over here. We haven't seen a stego yet. Let's just get some... Some wood real quick.
Oh shit. The Stego looks really nice. Oh, run. Can I run? I'm crafting. Now I can run. Just gonna try and get away from those guys. Doesn't look like you'll really be able to build here anymore. Or if you do want to build here, it's gonna take a hell of a lot of clearing. Oh, look at all the blood marks on us. Oh, not you bastards. I never actually noticed the blood marks before. From our other previous engagements. So that's pretty cool. And I'm assuming as we heal, they get better? Surely that would be the case. Run, run. And do not miss the ants. Oh man, more Dillos. Go for the Parasaur. Go after him, not me. This is crazy. There's just like so much going on. Oh, look at this little baby trike. Alright, we've got an explorer note over here. I know there's one over here. There it is there. This actually looks really cool. It looks like all the explorer notes have gotten like extra ruins and stuff like that around them. Miss Walker's impromptu oh, we got some. Are oh, we got some. Yep, we're trapped. We're pleasure. dead. Well, this is fun. After that I think we got a four times as well. Blackfoot's a lively tea time discussion about the abnormalities so of the Ark's ecosystem talking? was precisely what I needed. Thank goodness I've managed to find an intellectual colleague that shares my love for the. Feel like he's just going to keep talking. It saddens me to they would have just ported Miss this Walker's over though. Charming colonial accent would keep her out of the more prestigious institutions and societies that looks cool. back home. Another of the Ark's wonders. It is a true meritocracy, unlike any in the modern world. Okay, I'm already six. Walker and I could find and cultivate more minds like ourselves. We could create a true scientific utopia. Okay, we're going to try and fiddle around with some of the building stuff now. Let me just grab some of this again. Need some more fiber. I might try and see what I can make in terms of a base with some... Go away, compies. I know what you're thinking. Don't attack me. Oh, look at the little thingy. Lustra. What about you, dude? How big are you? Level 50. You are a nice looking parasol, too. Okay. It is coming up to... It is quite dark, so let's just go into here. Grab that, that, that. Um, we can also learn wind wooden. So there's a, lot, the, there's a lot less engrams, so that you don't have to spend as many engram points. Uh, learning stuff, which I think is good. It's a ben it's a good benefit to have. Okay, crafting some items up here. I do like the look of the banana palms. They actually look like banana palms, which I would say is the whole bloody purpose. Okay. So we've got ourselves some foundations now. I think this is. I'm not the biggest fan of this building style because it looks very animated and not in a good way in my opinion so let's chuck that down now it allows it tells you where it can snap which i think is pretty cool but the foundations themselves and like especially thatch doesn't look right okay so there are our thingies can we make some more thatch let's make a couple more of those so as for the wall so you can actually tab between the walls so you've got various multiple walls so you've got a thatch short doorway you've got a thatch doorway and then you've got the window walls now wood and stone metal and tech have an extra one of these they have a double door um i think the thatch doorway as well is pretty ugly so i i'm a fan of the little little door um but what i might do let's just real quick try and make one more of those And then I 
because I want to try and do a 3 by 2 and let's do that and then we can go and put the doorway over here and you can flip it and then change the snap point as well okay so there's our thatch door and we're gonna pick that up because it snapped the wrong thing bro can you piss off what did I where did they even go oh here they are Alright, is your friend wanting a piece of us as well? Okay, taken care of. So, yeah, and you can put the windows as well. If you want. Which I think is pretty cool. And let's pick this back up. Put a window wall. Grab some more fiber here because I want to see if I can make like a little shack. I know we don't have wooden, we can use the wooden beams, that's what they're called. So the pillars you can rotate a 90 degree angle and it allows you to use them as like beams, which is pretty cool. I had a little bit of a play around with them, but obviously I haven't done any crazy base building just yet. So we'll get into that a bit later. Let's grab into this though, and I just want to test fiddle around with this a little bit. See what I mean though? It just doesn't look... I don't know, it just looks weird to me. I can see the look that they were going for, like obviously they were going to, trying to go for like palm tree look sort of thing. But I think it just looks a bit strange. Alright, let's get the door. Um, I feel like we need the sloped walls. And then some ceilings, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, building isn't my strong point. Okay, there's our door. And we'll chuck our walls down here as well. Oh, we've got a baby Listro just here. Oh, I need more walls. Are you stuck, little dude? See, it doesn't let you imprint on it. So I'm assuming you have to get rid of the parent first. Okay. Cool. Let's see how this looks like. And you know what we might be able to do as well? Let's grab the wood pillar. And then I can show you guys what the wood pillar looks like. What the wooden beam. And then let's chuck this down here, down here. Like that, like that. Okay. And now we should... You can see here we've got stairs as well. So if you want to use it with stairs, you can. And we can open that up. I'm surprised my character fit in it, to be honest. And then, yeah, we can build stairs to actually get into our little house as well. So let's try and... A lot of new buttons to try and remember. Okay, and last that, and then we can use this. And you can see here, so you can actually rotate it now to make it into a wooden beam, which is pretty cool because you can essentially, I believe, yeah, you can stick them along roofs and stuff like that. So it gives them like an extra bit, extra decorations, which I think is pretty cool. So, I mean, that's our basic shack. Which, I mean, I'm not sure how different it is compared to ASE. But it's still like, you know, it looks pretty good. Let's just grab some more of these. Like, it's it's a house. It's a little tiny house. It looks alright. I think I'm, it's okay. But then, like, you can come in here. And you can also, like, stick them in the corners if you wanted to. Um, so, yeah, there we go. And you can see it kind of just helps frame the house a little bit. 
which I think is cool. And then obviously you can build out from that and have different angles and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, it's going to take a bit of getting used to, but I'm, I'm kind of a fan of the new ways we'll be able to use structures and all of that. So yeah. But I think that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. We are definitely going to be hosting our own server and everything on this. It's just a matter of getting it all set up. So nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tidbit for now. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. But thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.